Well, it's been a little while since I've uploaded a video, so I thought that I would do that. Um, I was sick, and then I've been busy with work, um, working in retail um, during the Christmas season. That'll kind of, you know, kick in the head a little bit. Um, so, been some long hours. I have a couple of days off right now, um, partly from not feeling well and partly from... Um, just having a day off. Um, on Monday, on Sunday night, I went to work because on Monday morning we were supposed to have some sort of like a recertification kind of inspection for our store standards. So I was responsible for going in and making sure that all of the department met the standards, all of the signage and labels and product placement and whatnot was where it was supposed to be in order for us to meet standards. And so I was there with my coworker who was um, making sure that everything was all pulled forward on the shelves um, and so that it looked neat and tidy while I went around and scanned prices on every product in the entire department um, in order to make sure that they were all accurate. Um, and all told, uh, since I work in non-food in a grocery store, um, I don't know how many items I scanned, but I do know that I made 457 price changes, um, and I never even got to the seasonal department because it was just a, a write-off. Um, so, uh, obviously, for one thing, that means that somebody hadn't been doing their job, um, in uh, updating those labels, but um, it's done now. Um, then, since we had this big snowstorm on the weekend, I found out Monday morning that they called and they canceled, which nobody told me about. So all of it was done, and I was stressing out by the time the morning rolled around. I was shaking. My hands are shaking. I was so worried that I had done something wrong, that the one thing that I had missed would be something that the the person who was doing the inspection would go to first thing. They'd be like, if she's going to miss something, it's going to be this. Walk over, scan it, and sure enough, I would have done it wrong. But that didn't happen, thankfully, because, uh, because um, they didn't show up. Um, so... At least I know that all of the prices in the department are correct. I have some other things that I'll be able to catch up on. We have standards with labeling where all of the labels on a shelf have to be the same size. There are three different sizes. There's one that's like three and a quarter inches, another that's two inches and maybe two and a half inches, and the other is an inch and a quarter um, width. And um, depending on where they go in the product that you're putting on the shelves, um, certain labels will fit and others won't. And um, within each section, for example, where the um, Swiffer stuff and all of the cleaning supplies go, um, that all, all of those labels have to be the same width. So if you have something that's narrow, which means that you can only fit a two and a half inch um, label, everything in the whole section has to be, from floor to ceiling, every shelf has to be um, the two and a half inch label. Um, in, in some of those places, we have the three and a quarter inch labels mixed up um, within, the, within the other labels. And that's my job to fix that. Um, so I have to go through um, and and correct those those problems. I had planned on doing some of it um, for Monday morning, um, even though they said that that wasn't going to be necessary, that because we're in transition between management teams, that it wouldn't be absolutely necessary. Um, I was hoping to be able to do it anyway, as sort of a feather in the cap, but with all of the price changes that were out there, there was absolutely no way that I was going to get to it. Um, it just was not an option. So, um, anyway, that was that. Uh, tonight, um, I don't have to work. 
So Paul is coming over and we're, Walmart's open 24 hours a day. And as much as I wish that I didn't shop at Walmart as much as I do, I do. Um, it's cheap and they have everything. So I go there. Um, so I have a few things on my Christmas list that I need to check off. I would like to be all but finished my Christmas shopping um, by the end of the evening tonight, which is totally possible. I have like four things to get, and then I would be done. Uh, one further thing that I won't be able to get at Walmart, or I don't think I'll be get at, will be able to get at Walmart. For one, it's for Paul, which could be a little tricky. Um, and it's a book, which would probably be more likely to be found at Chapters, because it's a little bit of a... It's a little cerebral, this book. So, you know, it's on something about hydrogen, um, and I don't even know what it's called. What is it called? Let's see. Christmas list. Do-do-do-do-do. Pull. Smelling Land, the Hydrogen Defense Against Climate Catastrophe. This is the name of the book. As you can see, this is not your um, sort of dime store kind of thing. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to gonna see whether I can find that. If I can find that at Walmart, I can sneak that um, quickly enough into the cart. And uh, yeah... Um, and then the rest of the shopping that I have to do as well. Um, I have to shop for my stepmother. My father's finished. My sister's taking care of my mother and stepfather. Um, I've already got my sister's thing. I already have the thing that I'm taking to the island. I already have what I'm giving to my coworkers. Um... I have to get something for my housemate and his daughter and her boyfriend. I'm just going to get a stocking and fill it up with things for them. Um, and, uh, yeah, I guess that's it. So hopefully I'll be able to finish that. It's not, not much, just a little, a few little things and a couple of, and a couple of, uh, other things to get, um, so, I guess that's it for me now. I um, started doing some cleaning this morning. I've been so busy I haven't had a chance to clean. And um, while they haven't been doing a bad job keeping things tidy, tidy isn't clean. And I almost passed out today when I went into the kitchen and picked up the dish rag and got the scent of a dish rag that has been in the kitchen for far too long. So... Needless to say, I'm going to, I don't even know, spray the kitchen down with bleach or something because that's gross. And I don't know what they've touched with that dish rag, but it's absolutely disgusting. So I have to do that. That, I, well, I shouldn't say that. I actually have already gone over it with everything except bleach. It's gone up and gone over with spick and span already. So that's good. And the downstairs bathroom is finished in the living room. I have to wash the kitchen floor and do the upstairs bathroom and vacuum the upstairs hall. I think that's it. I'll probably do some dusting in John's room and vacuum that because he's away. So it's my chance to get a little bit of cleaning going on in there. Um, they were doing some renovations in the basement and uh, the... Um, that dust, the stuff that comes off of drywall, the plaster, ew, it's everywhere. So that's a little exciting. I always enjoy that kind of stuff, especially because it chalks up on a on a cloth and you just spread it around. So that makes things a little bit um, interesting to clean. Anyway, um, nobody really cares and I would be absolutely shocked if anybody's made it this far into the video. Um, but anyway... Um, I guess that's it for me. I'm going to go now. My Pepsi is over there, and it's calling to me, and they're doing something on CNN that looks kind of interesting. So, got to go. Bye.